cold sweat. He was in bed. And he'd been reading up on history, he told me later, for quite a while. And I had been sharing some of the information that I managed to get hold of up to that time. And his name was Reggie, is Reggie Busak. And what he told me as he sat up in bed that morning at two o'clock is, I've now realized I'm not a colored. I'm not a so-called colored. I am a koi. So he's one of the many people now, particularly also in this area, from where we are standing all the way down to Cape Town. I've been working intensively on this kind of thing from the town of Albertinia to Swellendam recently, uh, which is, as I became aware, or was, historically speaking, Hesekwa country. And Reggie Busak is now the recognized, the acknowledged, formerly leader, as the old early Dutch, von Riebeek's days used to say, the captain of the Hesekwa, which means people of the trees, Hesekwa actually, people of the trees, people of the forest. And that fascinated me when I discovered this one interesting bit of information. And what I discovered very easily <coughs> by just looking around and listening in this area as well, is that the footprint of the koi, <coughs> incorrectly spelt and even incorrectly pronounced by Reggie Busak, the media have it as K-H-O-I, and I see some of the annotations <coughs> in the museum as well. Uh, it's actually K-H-O-E and K-H-O-E-N, Khwen Khwen, which incorrectly translated uh, in the, particularly the early history books that bother at all to give some space or attention to this, as men of men, rather chauvinistic, means eminent people, mm. special people, the Khwe Khwe. Can I go back to the pronunciation that's more from the Khoi people? And not only the Hesekwa down in this coast, this area, and I see a lacuna in terms of mention of them, and I'm not taking anything away from the colonial presence of woodcutters and foresters along the coast, the early fishing and fishermen and so on. Um, but the Atakwa of this area, I see mentioned nowhere. Atakwa, incidentally, Atakwa, meaning the light-colored people, or more specifically, the white people, which is slightly ironical, and thereby hangs another question. And as we mo move down, you know the mountains, Otanikwa, mm -hmm. the honey caverns, because they came inland or went inland and brought honey across to the area that they were actually inhabiting, closer to what is today George. Further down the coast, the Chauritz River, the Chorikwa, Chorikwa, the people of the cattle, Esekwa, people of the forest, Chinokwa, you can go on it all, this whole area was inhabited by the early Khwe Khwe people. But they left a footprint, but they had a soft touch. And I'm not going to late stone age. We were discussing, discussed mm -hmm. this with somebody. I'm not an archeologist. I don't go into prehistory. I'm talking about these people who started migrating in this direction into what is now South Africa about 2000 years ago from Northern Botswana. And with contact, Due to contact with the Bushmen, and I use the word advisedly, maybe I should just say something about that, they picked up the click and their language said, Ooh. and also uh, from the Kossa people in the east, they had contact with the Kossa people in, in the east. San, incidentally, which is now again in the public domain, this is what the media use, and this is what teachers at school advise children if they use a word at all to call what used to be called Bushman San. It's a derogatory term. It means people without cattle. It implies thieves. And the word term, San, was given to the Bushmen by the Khoi Khoi, who were cattle keepers. The Bushmen were the hunter and gatherers. And also in the public domain is now the word Khoi San. Some people are saying, I'm a Khoi San, and so on. Khoi San means man without cattle. The sound part being without cattle and the koi coming from the khwe, khwe, khwe. But it's here, a soft touch, as I say. 
you go down to the the, the uh, uh, Swellendam area, it's wheat country, canola country, agricultural activity, forestry has obliterated much of the evidence of these early people. Doesn't mean that it's not there to be found. And even archaeologists, or particularly, where's my friend the archaeologist from? <laughs> from Zimbabwe originally. <laughs> even our, particularly archaeologists have to be much, much more patient. Because you don't get a, a, a site with a lot of artifacts there for you to find on the surface and then to excavate in terms of different strata and then to read the story of the people. Because they moved a lot, these cattle keeping Khoi Khoi people. Uh, they would set up their villages made of poles, uh, branches of trees, if you like, and mats. And that's organic stuff. If they didn't carry the, the house now collapsed and wrapped up on the back of an ox to their next destination, they would simply go to the next river and use the rushes, the palm meat, to make more mats, to make more houses for themselves. This is what I'm now involved in. I've, I've done intensive work with this kind now down, down the coast, as I say, and discussing uh, such matters with my, my sand parks contact here. I think it's time that one should start looking more carefully also in these areas. But with great respect, I look at the annotations in this little museum that we've just been to. There's only very slight reference, and then they say, very sparsely populated. Of course it was sparsely populated. There weren't many people around. And if you saw koi at all, you might not see them the next day. They would move on to new pasture for their cattle and so on. But it's here, it's in the names. You don't have to go Tsitsikama, bright water, or fresh water, or sparkling water. Tsitsikama. Bito, the municipality that I live in, just up the road, means white ash or white, implying either the trees found upstream or the very water that was sparkling and white, or whatever the case may be. Neisner, the place that most of you come from. The fern, ferns. Neisner, <coughs> fern. That's where Neisner, the word, comes from. It's here. They are here. They are of the trees, they are of the forest. I'm Hesekwa. Thank you. Mm. Wow. <laughs> wow.